Hello, this is Vidya. Welcome to What's Your Home Story. Today I have a furniture makeover for you. So this dresser, um, as you can see, this is the before picture of this dresser. And now uh, this is the after. So I used an, the Annie Sloan chalk paint um, in Emperor's Silk. That is a shade. Um, and applied both the soft wax and the dark wax for this. So we used to use this, we bought this piece in 2004 and uh, we used to use this as a console table in our old house. Um, again, when we moved into this house, we used it as a dresser and a bedroom. Now that we've got new furniture, I thought, you know, why, why don't we reuse this? So I updated the paint, changed the hardware. These folds are from Home Goods. They are made in India. As of most of the knobs that come in, uh, when you buy from the store, the screws are way longer than um, it's needed and you adapt the length to your uh, needs. So we have a screw cutter, but that did not work. So we just sawed off the excess length and that's how we used it. As I mentioned earlier, this is the before picture of the dresser. So before painting, I wiped the piece clean with a wet rag. To remove any dust and then I came back and cleaned it again a second time with a dry rag. If you have not used chalk paint before, the biggest advantage of chalk paint is that you don't need to sand or prime uh, when using this paint. You can just directly uh, start painting. So this is after um, the first coat of the um, Annie Sloan Emperor Silk chalk paint. It definitely goes on a lot more corally, a coral color, um, like a pinkish red, not a true red. So this is one coat, as you can see, um, not a thorough coverage. Um, it could be because my um, base color on this dresser was more of cherry. So, um, yes, you can see it's, it's a very salmony, uh, kind of pinkish red. This is first coat. And on the draw royals, I actually did a second coat. So the color is slightly better. Coverage definitely is there. Um, I don't know if I'll do a coat number three on this, um, but the coverage definitely seems to be okay. As I was editing the videos, I realized that I did not have a video of me painting the dresser. So I thought, okay, I'll show you how to paint it on a uh, piece of extra wood that I have. So this is how the paint looks. It's pretty thick. And I'm just using a regular brush. And all you just need to do, um, the, the coverage is actually really good. So all you just need to do is uh, paint it. It's pretty simple. It goes on like a dream. Uh, again, it does show the brush marks on the first stroke and even the second also, I think it gives a rustic look. The only difference in this case when compared to the buffet that I did was that was a darker color. So uh, there was not this much coverage. Actually, there's one more thing. This piece of wood that I'm currently working on is untreated. So it absorbs a lot more paint um, when compared to a finished piece of furniture. So for the buffet or the console table, whatever you want to call it, that I worked on this video, um, that had a coating of stain as well as a sealant like varnish. Not sure what the manufacturer used on it. So because of all these extra layers on the top of the wood, the wood does not absorb that much paint as, you know, a fresh piece like this. So one other thing that I noticed is that here after the first coat the paint looks like the true red that I got after two coats on my dresser. Um, no idea why. On my dresser after the first coat it looked really like coral not like red. Uh, maybe the light color versus the dark color base plays a role in it. Not sure. So it's pretty if you look at the can it's a pretty deep red. Hopefully that's how it's going to look. Uh, when everything is done. So the next step is to apply clear wax and then dark wax. If you are like me and do not like to wash the paintbrush in between coats or whenever I'm taking a break, here is a great way to save the paint from on the brush from drying out. Keep it in a Ziploc bag, push out all the air, close it tight, 
this this way the paint will not dry on the brush so i finally found time to apply the wax for this uh, dresser first coat i'm applying annie slow and soft wax it um i've been using this for some year, years now actually so this is how the wax looks like so i use an old rag to apply it i just take it and then rub it into the uh, fun, into the wood so that it absorbs again we can rub off any excess wax all we need to do is for the paint to absorb the wax since it works as a sealant uh, and the wax actually changes the color of the paint as well as you can see it's a deeper red right now um, you don't need to apply a whole lot just enough so that uh, there is a coating on the paint you can also use a brush um, to rub the wax in but then again you have to come back with the uh, brag to brush the wax again there are special brushes that can be used i have done it with the normal one but anyway i prefer the rag because I think that gives me more control as to how much wax I apply and also make sure that I cover all the spots. So I'm going to finish this whole piece with the soft wax and then I let it dry overnight or for a few days and then I'll come back with the dark wax. And that's also going to be applied pretty much the same way. So the wax protects the uh, paint and um, actually changes the finish to a smoother finish from the chalkiness, chalky paint, chalkiness of the paint. I have finished the soft wax, the clear wax coat. Now I'm going to apply the dark wax. Again, I'm using Annie Sloan um, dark wax, as, as you can see here. Um, it is pretty much, it looks like dark jelly. Yeah. Again, you can apply it with the rag as well as a brush. I feel that I get more control with the rag. So I am going to do uh, with the rag and it does stain your fingers. You should be using gloves. Unfortunately, I don't have gloves with me. So it goes on pretty dark. You need to work in small sections at a time. And uh, I would say you need to go with the grain of the wood. So you apply it like this and then you come back and brush off the excess with another piece of rag. All it does it is it just makes the paint a bit more uh, darker, gives it some more depth. And here is my finished piece. After the wax is done, you need to let the furniture rest for two to three days before using it. And as you can see, the color is way darker now. So if you like the video, please um, don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I post videos. Thank you for watching.